cracking everybody welcome back to blue tv like comment subscribe hit the bell stay notified whenever we upload a new video all right i'd be around i'd be watching the sports networks the espns the fs1s the youtube channels the communities and between the media, the fans, the fanboys, the bronze sexuals of all different varieties, I see a lot of Kobe Bryant slander. And then especially in the YouTube comments and Twitter and social media, Instagram, I hear a lot of mostly bronze sexuals, not so much the Jordan fanboys, some of the Jordan fanboys, bronze sexuals, and some casuals, and some of the media members are constantly disrespecting Kobe. But then they'll say the people that are defending Kobe are whiny brats or whiny crybabies that just want to prop Kobe up because they love him so much and he was never that good or never on LeBron's level. All they do is whine and fuss and cry and cry that people talk shit about Kobe, that he wasn't that good when in reality he wasn't that good. And y'all are just sad and whiny because he's not as good as LeBron. So that's all you do is cry about it. A lot of people say that about Kobe fans. And I'm going to tell you this. On behalf of the Kobe Bryant fans, and even the people that aren't necessarily Kobe Bryant fans, but seen Kobe Bryant play and know what that dude was, we are not whiny. We are not crying. We are annoyed. We are frustrated. We're upset. Our mind is blown. We can't believe it. We can't fathom the fact that it has come down to this where Kobe Bryant is constantly being disrespected. His name, his legacy, his work ethic is being disrespected, misrepresented, not put into proper context. Things that are complete fallacies and lies are being said about Kobe. Lies, half-truths, no context, especially when the same people are the same people that give context to the other greats that are in these debates, but decide to not give context to Kobe Bryant's story. The Kobe fans have had enough of the bullshit. All these things that people say or people choose to conveniently ignore when it comes to Kobe Bryant. It's ridiculous. Things like he was never the best player in the league. He was really, he was never the best player in the league. Or that he was carried by Shaq for the three championships, riding his coattails, really wasn't, didn't really contribute much. That was all Shaq. Or his playoff performances were insignificant because he didn't get the three finals MVPs in his first three championships. Or that Kobe Bryant, despite what people might think, was not a clutch performer. Or that Kobe Bryant was inefficient from the field. Or that Kobe Bryant never passed the ball and was a horrible passer. And that Kobe Bryant was not a good three-point shooter. And that Kobe Bryant was on super teams. Really? And they act like Kobe Bryant never tore his Achilles. And that he was a shell of himself afterwards. And that he just became a bad player without any context. To basically what would be a career-ending injury especially given his mileage and age, but he still tried to come back. Broke his knee, 
broke his shoulder in the process, but still gave it his all in his last 20th season. Just forget all of that happened. Ignore that Kobe Bryant was one of the best defensive players we have ever seen, especially considering how much of a superstar he was. Ignore Kobe Bryant's uh, 12 All-NBA defensive selections. And I believe nine of those being first team. Ignore that. Don't bring that up. That never happened. Like, he was not the leader of the redeemed team. They don't like to bring up the fact that Kobe Bryant has more victories against 50-plus win teams in the playoffs than anybody in NBA history. Ignore how he dominated that, uh, that daunting Western Conference for so many years and was able to make it through those Western Conference rounds to even get to the NBA Finals. Ignore that it was Kobe Bryant's name that was in the debate for best player in the league from about 2001 to 2013. No matter who he was paired up against, he was always the constant in those debates. Kobe Bryant versus Duncan, Kobe Bryant versus Iverson, Kobe Bryant versus Tracy McGrady, Kobe Bryant versus LeBron James, Dwayne Wade, whoever. You know the constant in all that? It was always Kobe Bryant. People act like this stuff never happened. They will also say Kobe Bryant missed, missed the playoffs the first year without Shaq. When in fact, that first year without Shaq, he didn't play practice. He, he, he had a season, end, a season ending injury after the All-Star game. Season-ending injury after the All-Star game. Did not return. The Lakers were in playoff contention then. Of course, you lose Kobe Bryant for the rest of the season. You don't make the playoffs. They also like to say that... Uh, they also like to leave out that when healthy, before Kobe tore his Achilles, before healthy... or Before Kobe tore his Achilles, when healthy, he never missed the playoffs. These are just some of the things that people say or don't say or ignore and do not give context to when they decide to bash this man's legacy. Why is this necessary? Why is Kobe's name, legacy, and work ethic constantly being disrespected and misrepresented? More than any of the greats that we talk about, it's Bean Bryant. I don't understand when you have a man that has dedicated his life to his craft and to be the best player he can be, the greatest champion he can be. Loved the game, never cheated the game, left everything out on the court every single night, damn near. Loved the game unrelentlessly or relentlessly. Loved the game, didn't cheat the fans, over 20 years, this dude made it a priority to show up to every game, even when injured, if possible, because he owed it to those people in the seats that paid money to come watch him play, didn't believe in load management. A guy like this with such a supreme work ethic and love for the game to be disrespected and misrepresented on this level. You have to understand why Kobe fans lash out the way they do. Because no, this doesn't happen to any other player that gets constant misrepresentation. Constantly disrespected. Leaving out context, lies, false statements. And these are the things people use against Kobe Bryant when trying to compare him to other greats. This is why Kobe fans are like this right now. In defense of Kobe fans, this is why. This has got to stop. This has got to 
stop. Put some respect on this man's name. I'm not saying that you have to have Kobe Bryant as your greatest player of all time. I'm not saying that you have to say Kobe Bryant is better than LeBron James or better than Michael Jordan or better than Michael jo Mac uh, Magic Johnson. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is that if you're going to make your argument, at least say statements that are true and put things in their proper context. But the fact that you choose to ignore these things or don't bring them up or make things up or skew the facts probably tells me that you are, uh, what's the word I want to use? You are threatened by some of his accomplishments or, you, or you're just naive or you just don't know. But, you, but the information is there. You can do the research yourself. Like, what are we talking about, bro? That is why Kobe, fan, Kobe fans are annoyed and upset. They ain't whining. They trying to let y'all know that this is what actually happened. This is the guy you're talking about. This guy that you're slandering, this, this guy here, you know, if you had a good reason to slander him, by all means, do it. But a lot of the slander going around is just false statements and false accusations. Just call it what it is. Call it what it is. Kobe fans, my message to you, continue to fight the good fight. Because the media, the bronze sexuals, the fanboys, the Kobe haters will continue to try to bury this man's legacy and bury everything he stood for, buried everything he did, buried everything he meant to the game. They will continue to try to do that and shut and shut him out. But we, Kobe fans, have to band together and continue to put the facts out there and continue to put the context out there. And, and continue to debunk these truths, these truths, these statements that people like to put out that are not at all accurate. It's on us to remind people and keep flooding the internet airways with the proper information and the proper context because they're not going to. And not that they should, but the fact that they're doing the complete opposite in an attempt to try to make this guy seem like he was less than what he was. And we cannot continue to let that happen. So Kobe fans continue to defend this man, continue to support this man even after his death, continue to uphold his legacy. Because it's only because it's only going to become harder as the years go on and the years go on and the years go on and more players come through, and it'll start to fade a little bit. The 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 the, the, the truth and the facts will start to blur even more as time goes on. So it's up to us to continue to defend this man's legacy and keep it alive. Because there's people out here trying to tear it down. All right. If you know any other Kobe fans, send them to Boo TV. Because this is what we do. One of the reasons I created this channel. Obviously, I, I don't post just about Kobe. I, I post about all, all kinds of players. But one of the reasons I started this YouTube channel is because I was sick and tired of the Kobe slander. So I wanted my own platform where I could help defend this guy because I felt like not many people were doing it. And that was one reason I created this YouTube channel. But I didn't want it to just be a Kobe channel because I love the game of basketball and I love other players. You know what I mean? So I didn't want it to be just about Kobe, but Kobe fans could come here and find solace and find happiness and find facts and find context. We don't do revisionist history here. We don't. 
We absolutely do not do revisionist history. This is where we come to Boo TV and we talk about how everything went down, how it actually went down and give you deeper, deeper information so that we can put everything in context. And not just about Kobe, about other players too. But there's not a lot of places doing Kobe justice. And y'all can come here. So if you know other Kobe fans that are sick and tired of the bullshit, tell them come on down to Boo TV, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell. Kobe Sanctuary here. Definitely a Kobe Sanctuary here. You feel me? Appreciate you guys. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. Anything you want to tell me about this subject, let me know what you think about it in the comment section. Like, comment, and subscribe, y'all. Hit the bell. Stay notified. 824 Mamba Forever. Rest in peace. We gonna do you justice, baby. We out.